Exact Track 4D detects dangerous weather days ahead of time, so you can make the right plans for your family. Still watching the same two spots. We haven't seen any movement here in what was odd. The models have been pretty quiet on them over the last two days. Just showed you the latest model run, not developing either of these two, but we did see some movement inside of the two day window. Meanwhile, the 60% chance when this one changed to orange is back to 50%, but seeing those numbers moving up in the uh, first couple of days, we'll keep an eye on it. Temperatures outside right now will be closer to what we'll be seeing for daytime highs over the next couple of days in the river flooding. And I pointed that out a little while ago and here we are it's 1044 and you can see we've crested the bottom part and out toward uh, doctors lake marina so it's still happening here not quite as extensive as it was when we saw milton but now that we still are going to have or what what I should say is what we're going to continue with will be the onshore flow and then redirecting it back to the north and the northeast. That's going to keep our likelihood of seeing these times of high tide bringing some flooding, especially as we get closer to the uh, king tide here for late this week and into next week. Uh, just a different view. Same product as what I was showing before. This one just has the add the added cloud cover as it will continue to stream through. Notice our timeline and when I'm talking about that chance for showers, that's overnight tonight. Here we are at 6 50. This will last through about 8 to 9 o'clock. That'll be moving offshore. And then shortly thereafter, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, lunch hour. Most of the clouds, especially in southeast Georgia, start to scoot out of here. Northeast Florida, I expect to see some for our coastal zones. If you notice, everything else is moving, but the clouds are on a shorter runtime, so they get stuck at the last part of their frame. And the reason I see will say that we'll see some of the erosion in the cloud deck is even though we've got the moisture moving up from the south, that frontal boundary will act as the buffer and allowing what will be that little bit of drier air to continue to keep the atmosphere stable. The breeze will pick up though first from the north and then starting to turn more northeasterly. Strongest winds over the next couple of days will be on the beaches 20 30 miles an hour. Some gust as high as about 40 but it's the inland areas that are still going to be punchy here with 15 to 20 mile an hour winds with 25 30 mile an hour gusts not out of the question and that does take us there's Friday through the afternoon overnight winds will settle a little bit but they're back Sunday so if you're heading out to the air show there you might need uh, just a lighter layer especially earlier in the day with what will be the cooler temperatures and by cooler 40s and 50s in southeast Georgia waking up tomorrow we'll see mostly 50s across the board I-95 even areas of US 17 through the inland areas the beaches the Golden Isles just a little bit warmer in the upper 50s to the lower 60s and then southward same idea northeast Florida in and around the double nickel there close to Live Oak Lake City a little bit warmer closer to the river upper 50s lower 60s and we'll repeat that again the closer you get to the water's edge with those daytime highs topping out and if we took the numbers that we have right now aside from the uh, map color difference about the same in the 60s and 70s but first we've got a bottom out 55 degrees is where we'll start things off with what will be our cloudy sky with temperatures that will hover around the 60s and 70s before stepping up slowly Friday and into Saturday, but still below normal temperatures. Outside and in the evening skies, especially with some of the clear stuff here on the 17th, we've got the full and super moon. That'll be the hunter's moon here. And then the comet, I had some folks emailing me about that. If you're talking about the atlas, we can see that through the 22nd, just after uh, before sun or just after sunset, rather right along the horizon. We've also got a meteor shower and a few other things that are out there, including the ISS that'll be making some passages by Thursday and Friday. 60s give way to 70s. 70s continue through the weekend forecast. It'll be next Tuesday before we see the 80s return. All right, thank you, Richard.